This video shows a group of anti-abortion protesters outside Louisville's federal courthouse back in July. Now, two months later, the legal battle surrounding Kentucky's only abortion clinic returns to federal court. The state is trying to shut down the only abortion clinic in Kentucky by enforcing regulations that have nothing to do with women's health. Louisville attorney Don Cox will represent the EMW Women's Surgical Center in court Wednesday, along with the ACLU. He says the state is trying to make Kentucky the first in the country to close all abortion clinics. We go back to, figuratively to the Middle Ages. I mean, how did women, poor women, in particular, handle abortions before Roe versus Wade? And you know the answer to that. But according to the state's response, Kentucky officials deny ever trying to shut down the clinic. The Cabinet for Health and Family Services says it does want the facility to have agreements with a hospital and an ambulance company in the event of an emergency. We had an agreement. They just didn't like it. Uh, it was just an excuse to um, find a reason for us uh, to be shut down. And they say we have to have an agreement with EMS to pick up our patients. And of course, if you walked over to the phone right over there and dialed 911, an ambulance would show up. So that's stupid. And Now, attorneys for the state did not return our phone calls today, but in court documents, they did say that if the facility were to be shut down, women in Kentucky could drive to another state for an abortion. That rally begins here at 7 o'clock. That's the latest from the federal courthouse. Christina Mora, WLKY News.